I already prepared my mind that see i'm going to do this youtube thing like some people will be like don't put me in your video don't video me you know what i stare right back at you forget that i said i will vlog like i just totally forget and i start living in the moment 15 views <laughs> oh 15 million people sat down to watch me that's something myself and i brought myself here so i have to fund it guys data is not cheap like you should enjoy it if not you're going to get tired i brought myself here and i'm not about to go empty-handed hey fam hey people hey everybody hey youtube <laughs> welcome welcome back to my channel if you're seeing this very beautiful face for the very first time my name is jessica nigerian youtuber based in port harcourt yeah please do well to subscribe to my channel complete us okay because without you we are not complete today we are going to talk about some challenges upcoming youtubers face like me i've already said everything my own and i'll just like give um a little little talks on how we can just stay motivated because i am also an upcoming youtuber as you can see my numbers you can see it <laughs> i am also an upcoming youtuber and i'll also like to learn from these things i have written down let's dive right into this video because we are picking a whole lot guys welcome back i put out the things i wanted to talk about on this notepad so when i look down here i'm actually reading out the point of the struggles every or challenges upcoming youtubers will likely or have faced or is facing is that since you're new to this system you're new to the whole youtube thing you're new to vlogging you're new to editing it might be difficult to walk over like you might find it very difficult initially like to update to like how to like to edit your video so that it doesn't have any hitches and the rest to film properly like it might not work like i remember when i started initially what really helped me was like before i even started my channel i have been watching youtube for over five years or six years i've been an ardent youtube watcher if there's a word like that i always watch youtube videos so i think that kind of helped me because i already knew what it was like what a, a proper youtube video should be like but making it be like that was a problem because i would want to put up you know that thing where you put like my video now my instagram handle is like showing on top of it i didn't know how to do it like it took me like forever to like figure that out so initially because you're new to the whole thing it might be difficult to walk over but like over time like they always say practice makes perfect yeah it applies to this piece also like the more you do the more you edit the more you film the better you be so that's one challenge that will another <laughs> challenge most youtubers upcoming youtubers especially will face is or is facing is you feel awkward talking to yourself like you just feel awkward like me now i'm sitting down i am talking to the camera and it feels like what are you doing girl like if someone who is not a youtuber or who is not a content creator comes in here now they'll be like is this girl sick like what are you doing <laughs> so initially it looks very awkward filming and just talking to yourself but you know when you see the comments and you see the interactions you actually now know you're not talking to yourself that's why whenever i see an upcoming youtuber i just try to leave comments it's not like i don't comment on other youtubers um videos but i comment more on upcoming youtubers like i want them to know that people are actually watching what you're doing you're not talking to yourself so whenever you see upcoming youtubers like us put out videos please when you subscribe also comment so that we know we're not talking to ourselves <laughs> yeah so that's one challenge upcoming youtubers will likely or amazing. another challenge is see this one is very relatable most people will think you're crazy like you're walking on the road and you're filming and people are like what are you doing some people will be like don't put me in your video don't video me <laughs> like guy i'm not videoing you <laughs> 
like when i did my above vlog when i went to above uh, market i did a vlog i won't bite my was just like i bet no video me i bet do video me like guy what's your struggle <laughs> so yeah initially people will think you're crazy like they will just think like you're not normal but you know what they will get used to it the thing is that when people stare at me when i'm filming you know what i stare right back at you like i look at you <laughs> Even even in your house, where you, you if you're in a, if you're from a family where you're you're just starting this whole content creation and people are not used to it, like they'll be like, "What are you doing, Seth?" I remember when I used to film, my brother would be like peeping from the window, like from the curtain, like <laughs> you know. But the thing is, they will shasha sha get used to it. So don't be discouraged. Just stay focused and know what you here for. I am um, upcoming YouTubers or. Yeah, upcoming YouTubers will likely face. I don't know if big YouTubers face it. I'm not a big YouTuber, so I can't say. I'm saying for my point because I'm an upcoming YouTuber. Another challenge we mostly face is forgetting to vlog. You guys, I don't know if this happens to everybody, but it happens to me. Like, I can just say, I can just do an intro from the house and say, okay, I'll carry you guys along. And when I go to the thing, I said, I'll carry you guys along. I'll forget that I said I will vlog like i just totally forget and i start living in the moment drinking and enjoying and enjoying myself and later on now when i'm going home i remember hey, i said i was going to film this so <laughs> and that's how that intro will not be a waste because you end up deleting it so that is one challenge most upcoming youtubers face how i fight that challenge or how i cope with it what i do is when i currently i use my phone to vlog so i have two phones one i don't use it to vlog the other one i use it to vlog so i the one i'm not using to vlog i put it in my bag and the one i'm using to vlog i just keep it hold i just hold it with me so that will like tick my memory or make me remember that i'm vlogging so you just have to figure out the way that will help you remember that you have something to vlog about i don't know so that will like help the thing upcoming youtubers face or are currently facing is the low interactions you guys the low numbers you take up your time you do like sit down create mind-blowing content and to you you'll be like yeah 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 this is the content that will give me the 1k subscribers and give me the 4,000 watch hours and when you open it like maybe after one day you open it and you you look at it you're like saying 15 views <laughs> and you be like what like the for the whole day 15 <laughs> you guys that's like a struggle that's like a challenge like it makes some people feel very bad like me what i do to fight that challenge i just i'm grateful let me just use it that way i'm grateful like if i wake up and i see like 15 people have viewed my videos initially it would get me pissed but i would just be happy i will be grateful for it i'll be like oh 15 real people sat down to watch me that's something more people will watch so just be grateful i think that will help a lot be grateful for the little numbers knowing that bigger numbers will come so yeah. another major challenge upcoming youtubers face you guys is funds like you are investing your money or you're putting your money your time also because time is money you're putting your time and your money in something that is not giving you money yet something you're just doing and there's no money you're just putting your time your money and everything it can be discouraging but you know what you just have to i don't know i just me how i overcome that as a challenge i just tell myself see this is a path you set yourself to be nobody forced me to be here nobody dragged me and said just come and start doing youtube nobody i myself and i brought myself here so i have to fund it so like getting data to upload your videos and guys data is not cheap like and youtube youtube doesn't even help sometimes you want to put up a video like one day i was frustrated i put up a video and like i slept off and i was thinking maybe when i wake up it must have gone up because it was like few percentage left to like go up you guys i woke up and that video didn't go up that video was just there looking at me i had to just start afresh and all this is data you want to buy ring lights to have good lighting to film you want to buy 
microphone sets to make your audio good like you want to go out like when you want, when you're doing vlogs you will go out so people that don't have cars like us people like us that don't have car you have to board cabs like that's money and you're not making money yet so it can be discouraging but like i said earlier what i do is like i just believe that see this thing will pay off soon like like just do it like it will pay off so you just have to encourage yourself Another challenge upcoming youtubers face is temptation to give up like the urge to give up is usually very high especially at this stage where you are just starting off especially like me initially when i started when i did my sorry when i did my intro video the numbers were not it i think i had about in a day i had about how many uh, watch uh, uh, um viewers and those viewers are even people i forced to watch like i practically forced them to watch it like it was kind of discouraging i almost did not want to film another video but you know what i said i must film i i just continued it because you know what i already prepared my mind that see i'm going to do this youtube thing like i said before now before i started my youtube channel i have been like an ardent frequent youtube viewer i always watch youtube videos so like the thing the thing was sweet to me like it was sweet to me <laughs> the thing is always sweet to me when i watch people do it and i'm like i would do it so like can't overcome that challenge of temptation to give up i just tell myself see you are the one who told yourself you want to do this and you can't do something and just leave it and me myself i will i say i barely give up like in life generally i barely give up like sometimes i might fall back and like but i must come back to that thing that's my life so i kind of like try to apply it here so i don't even sometimes i don't really bother about any other thing i just do my thing you know enjoy myself <laughs> yeah that's another thing you should enjoy it if not you're going to get tired like enjoy it do it for fun initially do it because you like it initially then you that temptation will gradually die off like you the temptation will, will reduce temptation to give up lastly i don't want to bore you guys it seems like i've been talking for so long lastly another challenge upcoming youtubers face is see you have to motivate yourself that is the truth especially when you don't have like an a big youtuber or someone on youtube who has already made the name and fame giving you shout out or maybe you already have a community outside youtube that is strong for you and you just send them to your youtube except you have all of that uh -huh. if you don't have it my dear my sister my brother my uncle my mommy my auntie you have to encourage yourself you have to motivate yourself you have to give yourself some reason why you have to stay give yourself some reason why you have to do this like i said earlier before i started filming this video this video i have filmed it before like i filmed it today my mic almost made me go crazy i finished filming and the mic was filming too and it was talking making a whole lot of noise i had to delete that video because it wasn't worth posting like i won't want to post something that when people are watching they will just be irritated because of the sound and they just go off i just went back laid down and later i just encouraged myself and you guys guess what i ended up filming two different videos today i actually wanted to film only this one but the ginger that came to me <laughs> i don't know where it came from but i give up glory to god like it came and i filmed like two extra videos so you have to motivate yourself tell yourself see i brought myself here and i'm not about to go empty-handed so you have to motivate yourself ways you can motivate yourself is i think you need to set realistic goals for me i don't know about others for me i don't set goals here on youtube like i set goals on the kind of videos i want to film like like i write down videos i want to film but i don't set goals on numbers like tell myself in a month or two i want to have like 200 300 subscribers and, and about four thousand or five thousand watch hours i don't set goals for myself because i i i when i set goals for myself and they don't come true it kind of makes me feel bad and almost depressed so 
I don't know if you are like me, please don't set goals, just go with the flow. But if you are a goal person, like you're goal oriented, you must set goals for everything you do. It's also good, but try to set realistic goals as an upcoming YouTuber. Try to set goals, you know that these goals are realistic. Okay, like if somebody hears about it, they can like, okay, you can try. Not telling yourself, you're just starting YouTube this month. You're telling yourself that you will get 5,000, 4,000 watch hours this month, guy. Like I said earlier, I said you have people giving you shout outs, so like big YouTubers already chaperoning you, giving you shout outs and all the things, or you have a community outside. Except that, my sister, it is not possible, or my brother, or anybody. Okay, so you just have to set realistic goals. You can tell yourself, okay, I can achieve like 100 or 200 watch hours for this month. And it, it can really come true. Another way to motivate yourself on the streets of YouTube here is to. So there are some YouTubers who film content to help upcoming YouTubers. Like they teach you how to film, they teach you how to edit, they teach you how to just walk your way around the whole YouTube things. I feel you should watch those kind of channels. Like I watch Kelechin Bemena. There are a whole lot of YouTubers who give, um, who teach how to manipulate things on youtube here like filming properly and other things like you should watch such videos because they will help you a lot they will teach you and like encourage you to like oh okay since i've watched this thing and i didn't know how to do it let me just go and try it again and before you know you are back on the streets of youtube so try to also watch youtubers that teach people how or teach upcoming youtubers how to function properly on the streets of youtube another way to motivate yourself as an upcoming youtuber is to you see that your fave that's your big youtuber go and watch their old videos i do that a lot go down like screw down to maybe five years ago or three years ago or so many years ago when they started and watch how they started watch when they were filming with crappy phones or filming with poor lightning with low audio quality and just let it into encourage you a lot like you'll be like oh if this person did this so, so years ago and is here today i can actually do this you can also go to youtubers who there are some youtubers that in six months like they just became big you have to go to them go to their channel go down watch their old videos it motivates you'll be like ah if this person can do this in like six months i feel i will do better yeah so guys i think that is all i have to say i don't want to bore you I just want us to like encourage ourselves as upcoming YouTubers and just give ourselves a pat at the back and just tell ourselves, you know what, you're doing well, you're doing good and you 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 surely grow, we'll get there. We'll all be big YouTubers someday. Okay. If you know you're an upcoming YouTuber and I did not mention a challenge or struggle you must have gone through or you're going through, feel free to dive into the comment section and let us tell ourselves some struggles and ways we can also come out of those struggles or challenges and if also you're a big youtuber you can also come up to the comment section and just tell us upcoming youtubers give us a lesson give us tutorials tell us what to do to to be big okay <laughs> okay guys so that's like the end of this video and i hope you enjoyed watching i hope i didn't bore you and i hope to come back to this video months later or maybe a year later and tell myself oh all these things you all these encouragement you actually made it to the top and i believe i will see all my fellow upcoming youtubers at the top also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that when i put up beautiful content you will also see them okay and also leave a beautiful comment let's interact in the comment section like this video so that youtube can recommend my videos for people to watch share this video so upcoming youtubers who also need this encouragement and motivation can see this video okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye